So, last time we left off, a lot has happened. A lot has happened. So we did the whole time jump. We woke up two hours later, still as Aurelia Shepard. However, we have been reborn, quite literally, because we apparently died. We literally died. Our body was completely restored because all of our se cells died due to the whole, you know, space thing. So they brought us back into a project titled Lazarus and they spent the last two years, they meaning Cerberus, which is like this pro-human supremacist group, which we don't really know too much about yet. However, we do know that their motives are um, not to be trusted as of yet. So they, the Cerberus people led by the elusive man and he recruited Miranda to head the Lazarus project, which was literally a project dedicated to restoring us and bringing us back to life, which we were fully restored. And we woke up on this Cerberus headquarters station um, exactly pretty much two years later because the station was under attack. So we wake up, we go through that. We are immediately tested mentally, physically, emotionally on all these things. Um, and the reason actually that we ended up needing to be restored and we died is because the Normandy blew up in the attack. So um, we lost a lot of crew members. It was very emotional. And when we were like questioning all the things that happened, we were still able to recall them. So basically they vetted that we're still ourselves and they apparently did not implant like a control, a micro control chip in our brains, which was an idea that was brought up when they were trying to re restore us so that they could have more control over us. However, the, in, the uh, elusive man declined that. He was like, we're not doing that. We don't want to alter her mental state. People like her for who she is. She is an icon and it, we don't want to risk messing up anything about her personality or her leadership or anything like that. So, after all of that, we come to find out that in the last two years, there have still been a lot of issues with human populations disappearing. So human colonies have been van vanishing and they suspect that it has something to do with the Reapers, with the Reapers and their return. But it's kind of been under the guise of, or it's been working with this newfound group. I forgot their name, but they're like the the new, I don't want to say Geth, but like this, this group that they might be using as their shadow puppets. Um, and we were sent on a mission already. We had just woken up. Yeah, the collectors. Um, we were just sent on a mission immediately after waking up, basically. He was like, all right, let's get down to business, Mulan. So... We go to this planet, and that's where we find Tally, which is wild. She was there on a mission with her Quarians um, because they lost one of their guys that went on his pilgrimage there. And come to find out, the Collectors had been there, and they were the ones that removed all the humans from the site. So we met Tally. We find a little bit more about the human disappearances. And now we were given our own ship again, the recreated Normandy 2.0. We have Joker, turns out he's alive, and we are now placed in charge of uh, recruiting our own crew. We are given our own autonomy to recruit as we see fit, and as recommended was to, rec to recruit the new scientist first. So that is a TLDR in five minutes or less of what happened in the introduction. <laughs> All right. Cool. Welcome aboard, Commander. Oh my god, it's Presley! I'm Yeoman Kelly Chambers. I've been assigned as your administrative assistant. Oh! I'll manage your messages and help you monitor the crew. And I must say, it's such an honor to work under you, Commander Shepard. I don't need any assistance. I'm glad to have you on the team, Miss Chambers. Please, call me Kelly. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> I have a feeling the dialogue in this game is just gonna kill me. <laughs> Please, call me Kelly. <laughs> Should I say it? I mean, she's my assistant. If anything, she's the one I should be calling by first name, right? I shouldn't be calling, like, my subordinates or anything. I mean, I can, but... 
Oh, I really want to do it. I just want to... I don't want to be a bitch, though. I just want to see what she would say. Please call me Kelly. Okay, sure. Okay, Kelly. Anything else? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. Wow. This is like... The perfect woman. I like her. Is she romanceable? What do you do here? What are your responsibilities? I'll keep you notified of any messages or appointments you might have. If any of the crew has important business to discuss, I'll make sure you know. Oh, this is gonna be such a bad joke. I understand. <laughs> I get the whole appeal with secretaries now. You know, with bosses and like they're the whole like, it's always the secretary they run off with. They're always there for you. They always bring you coffee. They're always nice and pr uh, like presentable. It's because it's literally their job to be nice to you. They get paid to be nice to you and do things for you. Your wife doesn't get paid to be nice to you and do things for you. God, I get it now. Is that all you do? Isn't that the type of task better suited for a VI? <laughs> yes, but being your yeoman is just my official role. Unofficially, I observe the crew. Everyone knows how risky our mission is. Many of us may not be coming back. Is that all you do around here? I have a degree in psychology. Kelly? I'm good at sensing when people are overly taxed. She has a degree in psychology to make sure I'm not stressed? Kelly! Keep your distance! I'm watching you, Kelly. <laughs> Stay far away from me, Kelly. I see your game. It's- I'm here for Liara and Liara only. Are you- are you happy here? Is there anything I can do for you, sweetie? How do you feel about being assigned to the Normandy? I was handpicked by the elusive man to help fight the greatest threat known to humanity. How do I feel? Honored, exhilarated, terrified. But mostly I feel encouraged. Under your leadership, we can't fail. We won't. Don't worry. We'll defeat the Collectors. I trust you implicitly. The moment I met you, I knew I could close my eyes, fall back, and you'd be there. She doesn't get paid to say that. I'd embrace you? Wait, is she romanceable? Hold on. <laughs> I drop you? Why are we having this conversation right now? What are these options? I'd give you a smoochy smooch. Do I want to romance my secretary? I drop you? That might do more than catch you. <laughs> now that's an enticing thought. Whoa! Anything else you'd like to talk about? Yeah! This organization has a dark reputation. Do you have any concerns working for them? Not at all. Our methods can be harsh, but Cerberus has noble objectives. We look out for human interests. Advance human technology. Oh my god. Save human lives. They're good goals. Does it hate aliens? It sounds like Cerberus wants to dominate all aliens and put humankind on top. I want to be Cerberus on top of humankind if you know what I'm saying. Mean we hate aliens. My sister started a dog shelter, but she loved cats too. I love humanity. I also love Asari, Quarian, Turian, Salarian, Hanar. That isn't in conflict with Cerberus ideals. You're very loving, Kelly. It's a very positive attitude. <laughs> what can I say? I'm a people person. People Anything person? Like talk about? Didn't you just say you're not racist? You're a people person? Wow, Kelly, after that entire conversation, you're a people person? Thought you were an everyone person. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm on one today, okay. You better go. Okay, maybe we'll talk later. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh my god, that was- whoo, my cheeks are gonna hurt today. That's funny, that was good. Alright. I like her better than Presley. I'm not, uh, like, happy that he died, but, you know? It's nice to have a fresh face around here. Hi, Joker. Can you believe this, Commander? It's my baby! Better than new! It fits me like a glove! And leather seats! Military may set the hardware standard, but on a first-gen frigate, they could care less if the seats breathe. Civilian sector comfort by design. True. Reproduction is not intended to be perfect, Mr. Moreau. Seamless improvements were made. True. And there's the downside. I liked the Normandy when she was beautiful and quiet. Now she's got this thing I want to talk about. It's like ship cancer. Ship cancer? The AI? <laughs> what?
We can trust them for now. Too good to be true. For now. Enjoy it, Joker. If we're stuck here, we might as well let them pamper us. Uh, does it breach uniform regs if I get that on a cruise shirt? Because this is my favorite, you have no choice, choice ever. Right. Technically, this is a civilian ship. I'm probably lucky you're still wearing pants. Yeah, I'll save that for the off-hour cameras. Have an AI watch me 24-7. Sure. <laughs> True. Anything that's military grade and you take it to the civilian sector, it just gets so much better. So much better. Scholar. Ooh, I like these little, like, happy little... These happy little updates they're giving me. I feel like I'm getting achievements for anything. I'm just participating, and they just keep giving me little participants. Hey, Callie. No, I'm just kidding. Who's this person? Nobody. 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 Okay, NPCs. Got it. Wow. Jacob? Commander. Oh. There hasn't been time to gets really time, gets to in attention and salutes doctor. whenever he... said that working with you is a great opportunity to do something that matters. It's a privilege to serve on the Normandy, Commander. Bringing you wasn't my choice. God, one of these days I'm just gonna have to start being mean to these people. Not yet. You may change your tune if we end up like the original Normandy. Maybe. As long as the elusive man walks his talk. And you do the same, I'll do my best to make sure we succeed. That's been the condition for my service so far. I have issues with certain actions Cerberus has taken in the past. Oh, let's 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 explore what that. Cerberus done to make you nervous. You, you a Cerberus lot. simp. They've been called terrorists, and with good reason. Doubt you can find a more checkered past. Oh. But if the collector threat is real, and we do something about it, Cerberus will be remembered differently, or we'll all be tried and executed. Can't count on people thinking about it as hard as I have. He's kind of shaped like a Dorito. Sorry, I was also paying attention to what he was saying, but he's got one of those, like, Johnny Bravo built-looking torsos. Look at the shoulder-to-waist ratio. He's kind of... I wouldn't say an hourglass, because it doesn't fill out at the bottom. Anyways, um... I like that he's honest with me. I do appreciate that because initially when we first met him, he's like, I'm diehard Cerberus. Yeah, I stand with anyone who supports the humans. Like no one was really backing us up in the first place. But now he's like, honestly, Cerberus is a little sus. They've done some things that are questionable. I don't really know how I feel about them. Like, that's good. It's good to hear a clear opinion. Sounds like we're two of a kind. I like that. It honors me more than you, Commander. Let me know if you need anything. And he salutes when in disengaging from conversation, too. Interesting. He's a very, uh, customs and courtesies kind of guy. The briefing and calm room. Edie? What's this area of the ship? This is the FTL communications room. In addition to interfacing with the FTL comm network, Normandy is fitted with a quantum entanglement communicator linked to the elusive man's office. QEC, okay. This allows lag-free communication even when you operate off the calm grid. Mm. That makes sense. I don't That's really for now. need to know I'll anything else about that. It gives us a direct link to talk to elusive man. Got it. A scientist is required to use the technical laboratory. Oh. We need to recruit Morpheus or whatever his name was. Meningitis. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Malaria. What was that guy's name? Mucus. Anderson. Counselor Anderson. On the off chance that the rumors are true and you are actually alive, I need you to come and talk to me at the Citadel. It's still alive? I guess we did kind of save it. A lot has changed in the last two years. You put us on top, and it's only fair that you be allowed to speak for yourself about what we've been hearing. Reached an agreement with uh, veteran mercenary Zaid Masani. You may know the name. Zaid has been involved in some of the best known and some utterly unknown military operations in the Terminus systems. And is feared as a ruthless and relentless bounty hunter. I feel you might need a man with his skill on your mission, so I have arranged him to join you. 
You'll find him on Omega, where he's wrapping up his current bounty. Don't worry about his fee. I've taken care of that personally. MSV Rosalie, a sunken ship with Cerberus connections, has gone missing. Survey team was field testing a new prototype, the Hammerhead Planet Side Exploration Rover. In addition, scientists Dr. Manuel Case and Robert Alloy are aboard the MSV Rosalie and conducting research for us. We need you to find the ship, her survey team, and the doctors. The MSV Rosalie was last seen near planet Z Ziona. Elista is Mar Frontier. I like that these side missions are already starting to tie in with what's going on with the rest of the the rest of the universe, the rest of this setting. Because in Mass Effect 1, I felt a disconnect between why I was doing what I was doing versus like the actual trajectory of the main mission. I don't know if that's because it was just the fog of a first time playthrough and I was like, oh my God. But um, <clears throat> like there were some things, you know, obviously like missing Marines, missing this, missing that. And it was all like geth, 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 geth. But here it all feels, it feels like, I mean, duh, like a sequel, but it just feels more fleshed out. Like we're, we're doing something, you know? Uh, Normandy crash site located, Admiral Hackett. Commander Shepard, our scans in the Amada system have turned up something of, uh, we thought you should see. Final location of the wreckage of the SSV Normandy. We thought this news might be important to you, but we also have an ulterior motive. The Alliance would like to honor the Normandy with a monument to be built on the site of the ship's final resting place. We'd like to invite you to the place to place the monument and be the first to walk on the site. There are still 20 crew members unaccounted for from the attack on the Normandy. If you find si any signs of these lost crewmen, we ask that you report to the Alliance so those heroes' families might find some closure. Godspeed to you, Commander. That's cool. From Elusive Man. Shepard, it, uh, it occurred to our armor technicians that you might not want to show your face everywhere you go. They sent by a hood that Cerberus issues to its co covert operatives. It has additional microframe functions that you may like. The hood is in your quarters. A hood? A hood? I'm sorry, the first thing that that made me think of... They about to have me looking like Thelonious from Shrek? One of our cells just went off the grid without explanation. Project Overlord has been experimenting with high volatile, highly volatile technology, and I need you to investigate. Their work is extremely compartmentalized, enough that I can't divulge operational details over this channel. You'll find them on the Planet 8 Typhon system in the Phoenix Massing Cluster. Please use care in this matter. Arc Projector. From Elusive Man. Shepard. We recently had an incident involving the Geth at one of our outposts in the Skylian Verge. Don't worry, I'm not sending you off to chase anything down. Our operatives waged a highly successful battle against a Geth scouting party and credited their success to a new advanced electrical attack device that we finally let them take out of the lab. Since their unit is being reassigned for some rest and relaxation, I thought you should take custody of the weapon in the meantime. The weapon is called an arc projector. I sent it to the Normandy's armory so you can examine it for yourself and use it if you deem worthy. It's gone through plenty of tests that indicate it overloads kinetic barriers and synthetic enemies particularly well, but laboratory demonstrations are a poor substitute for actual field reports. We know it works. Now we want to see what it can do in the right hands. If all goes well, we'll use your tactics to train other operators. The arc projector. Interesting. Rendezvous with Kasumi Goto. At great cost and effort, we have tracked down the master thief Kasumi Goto and convinced her to work with you. Very few people have ever heard of her, and fewer can claim to have seen her in person. She is unequaled at stealth and infiltration, and her skills will prove invaluable to your mission. Travel to the Zakira Ward on the Z Citadel. There you will find a special ad terminal that differs from the usual. Input the password Silence is Golden to begin the rendezvous. Essential Final Services, your account. Hello, Commander Shepard. Thank you for submitting your updated medical documentation. Your status has been changed from deceased to alive. After deducting modest administration fees for closing the file, the subsequent change in status and reactivation of your account, your remaining balance of 100,000 credits. Thank you for banking with Essential Financial Services. We look forward to working with you. Are you protecting your greatest assets? We'll find the best at life insurance rates and coverage to fit your needs. Reply for a free quote today. Okay. Oh my! It's a big team. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. 
Elevator, the right side was the armory and tech lab. Okay. Door. Sure. Oh! Captain's cabin. <gasps> Fishy! I saw it. What? This is ours? Medal of Honor. Private terminal. Sound system. Hey, yo, we can get the Riz on. Got the aquarium. Can we, like, go fishing and collect them? Ah. Oh. Wow. Oh, it cycles. It's like bunker music, planet music. Hey, baby, let me take you a little bit more, somewhere a little bit more private. Turns on the bunker music. Amazing. Oh, this is a classic. This doesn't fit. I feel like I need to be in a space outfit. Let's just walk around like this. Damn! This isn't very... No. It doesn't match. Dude, this is so cool. Amazing. Cruise quarters. Let's see where they're staying. If I know a thing or two, it's that the cruise quarters are not going to, uh... Women's restroom. Compare. Yep. Got uh, two toilets and a communal shower. Oh, she's a cutie. How old? Ah, uh, she'll be a year old next month. Oh, you'll miss her first birthday. Well, my family lives in New Canton. Oh, uh, that colony's on the edge of the frontier. Could be vulnerable to collector attack, couldn't it? Exactly. It's most important that she have a first birthday. That's why I'm here. Aww. Kind of sad if you think about it. What is that freaking reactor core? I have like huge bedroom with a sound system and aquariums, then they sleep in little bunk beds. This honestly is not bad for a crew quarters. Like, it's pretty spacious. Obviously, there's no like privacy. Wow, it's the exact same. Um, but it seems well maintained. Chef surprise again. Come on, Rupert. I'm sorry, Princess. Filet mignon and caviar coming right up. Let me just get out my doilies. <laughs> That'd be real nice, Mr. Gardner. Mess Sergeant. Commander Shepard, the hero of the Citadel. You did humanity proud that day. As Sergeant Rupert Gardner here. How can I be of service? Do you have everything you need? I make do. But have you ever tried to prepare a decent meal with military provisions? I'm good, but I'm no miracle worker. Yeah. Taking down the collectors is going to be rough business. All you need is ketchup, salt, and pepper. A few fine meals before they throw themselves into the fire. What do you need? If I had some quality ingredients. Oh shit. You've got more to worry about than groceries. Believe it or not, Citadel. forget I mentioned it. That would be so fun. If I head that way, I'll keep an eye out. Much appreciated. Most of this list is probably standard fare for those Namby Pambies. Namby Pambies. Anything else you'd like to talk about? I mean, I've got thousands of of schmeckles. I would love to go grocery shopping. That sounds so much fun. How do you feel about working for Cerberus? Damn proud. Cerberus gets the job okay. done. Okay. 
The Alliance and Council have got their heads buried so deep up their butt puckers they can't see squat. Oh! It'll take good old human ingenuity to crush these collector vermin. Only Cerberus knows that. Yeehaw! Hell yeah, brother! Um, huh. I wanted like a, a common, a common man opinion on Cerberus because the people I'm interacting with are from a different walk of Cerberus. They're like the soldiers. They're a little bit more, I don't want to say higher class, but like they've got different accesses to Cerberus than like your standard chow hall um, chef. How did you find your way into Cerberus? Can you believe I was once a family man working the Ezo rigs along the frontier? Can you I believe was it? happy enough. But losing everything to Batarian raiders can change your outlook. I needed to make a difference. I'm no soldier, but I've got skills, and Cerberus keeps an eye out for talent. I'll <laughs> do whatever it takes to help. Be that plumbing a sewer, routing an air duct, or keeping everyone's bellies full. Wow. I won't take any more of your time. Back okay. To work. He's uh, definitely uh, a working man. Main battery. A gunnery officer is required to access the gunnery. Ah, oh, gunnery sergeant. I need a gunny, gunny sergeant. It's not gunnery sergeant. It's gunny sergeant. <laughs> FYI, Doctor Chakwas. Commander Shepard, I watched the Normandy crumble with you on board. It's good to see you alive. Why are you here? Nice to see a familiar face, Doctor. I feel the same. I wish more of the original crew could be here. The Her kind hair is... of trauma you endured would have changed most people. Her hair is on point. But not you, I see. Welcome back, Shepard. Well, not to be dramatic, but I had my entire uh, being reconstructed, so that'll that'll do something to a person. You need anything? Do you have everything you need? I believe so. This medical bay seems very much like the sick bay on the original Normandy. Only thing missing are my private reserves. I even had a bottle of Ceres ice brandy that I was saving for a special. Oh occasion. no! <sighs> there are bigger things in the galaxy to worry about, but sure. I'll keep an eye out for a replacement bottle. Oh, you needn't. It's expensive, and we have much larger concerns ahead. Yeah, okay, at least she's on the same page. That's a good response. Because, I mean, like, we are about to enter in conflict with a bunch of. Scary space dudes. We don't have time to go alcohol hunting. Well, I mean, could uh, lo like lessen the edge, you know? Doctor, you've been with the Alliance for years. Why leave now? After the Normandy was lost, the surviving crew was reassigned. I was stationed at the Mars Naval Medical Center, a very respectable position, but it wasn't on a starship. Hmm. Colonial military life isn't for you? I've spent most of my life on warships, never knowing what the next mission might bring. I feel I'm that. I'm used to the hum of engines, the creaking of bulkheads, that subtle vertigo when the momentum dampeners kick in. Life planet side is just too static, too boring. We call that the military Stockholm syndrome. You get too used to like living life, constantly moving and always going places and you get used to the turmoil that the thought of a mundane, stable lifestyle starts to scare you. <laughs> yep, I'm a familiar. Um, You're not the Cerberus type, Doctor. I don't work for Cerberus. I work for you. On a mission that may be crucial to the survival of the human race. Yes, ma'am. I have faith that your dealings with Cerberus will be ethical. I trust you, Commander. I also like that answer. We got homies on board. I don't work for Cerberus, Commander Shepard. I work for you. I like that. I like that. There's a very good chance this mission will be a one-way trip. Are you prepared for that? I've been through the reclaiming of Shanxi, the Skillian Blitz. We survived the Battle of the Citadel and the destruction of the Normandy together. I've lived a full life. No regrets. I'd like to make sure the crew gets the same opportunity. Damn, Dr. Chakwas is a G, dude. She's a G. She's awesome. I'll see you later, Doctor. 
Commander. She's a classy lady. Find brandy. Find a bottle of Sarah Ice, Ice brandy at the store somewhere. What the? What's beeping at me? Access to the AI core is restricted. Interesting. I don't trust that. I should have access to everything. I'm the commander of the ship. Um. The port observation deck is closed until needed. Access to life support is restricted. Interesting. The starboard observation deck is closed until needed. Engineering. You came all the way down here to see us? You're speaking to our commanding officer. Ooh. I didn't hear an officer on deck. I run this ship military. You two think this is all a joke? Oh, God. Yes, ma'am. I mean, no, ma'am. Won't happen again, ma'am. At ease. Who are you? I'm Engineer Ken Donnelly, no. handling the power control systems. This is Gabby. That's Engineer Gabriella Daniels. This is Gabby. Actually. I'm responsible for the propulsion systems. What can we do for you, Commander? I'm Engineer Donnelly, and, uh... That's Chad. <laughs> are you set up okay down here? We can't complain. I just wish it didn't take so long to calibrate the FBA arrays. The... Kenneth, you're complaining. What's the issue? What kind of problems I asked. are you having? When they upgraded the Normandy design, they got a bit sloppy with the FBA couplings. I won't bore you with the tech, but there's an array of attenuators in the primary power transfer system that channels the field bleed. Kenneth, you're boring the commander with tech. In short, if we had T6 FBA couplings installed, it'd save us a lot of maintenance time each day. Why isn't something like that already installed? It's probably just a design oversight. Efficiency isn't affected, it's a maintenance issue. Also, the T6 model can be hard to find. Nash and Stellar Dynamics discontinued mm. them. We could probably find used ones in the Omega markets, but we have no time for shore leave. We'll be going to Omega anyways. Cause, uh, that's where... The bounty hunter was? One of the guys. Where'd you receive your training? Both Gabby and I started in the Alliance, serving on the SSV Perugia. She flew in the first wave at the Battle of the Citadel. We saw Sovereign firsthand. Hmm. Why did you leave the Perugia? After you died, Anderson lost political clout. The Council backslid on the Reaper menace. They discounted Sovereign as an isolated threat, as a single... Which was bullshit. They said your warnings of a greater danger were mistaken or delusional. We lost respect for Alliance leadership. Good! We need to fight the real enemy, and only Cerberus seemed to be doing I it. mean, that's... A good opportunity for, like, a semi-terrorist group to rise when, like, the entire government is discounting a cause that people are adamant about. To include, you know, being invaded by a race, an ancient race of overpowered aliens. How did you wind up with Cerberus, Ken? Once you were gone, the Alliance brass descended like vultures, tearing apart everything you'd said. I was very public with my defense for you. I didn't hold back. Wow. That's an understatement. If Kenneth wasn't such a talented engineer, they'd have court-martialed him for insubordination. Wow. But it got me noticed by the elusive man. He made an offer, and here I am. Wow. I kind of I kind of already respect these guys. Why did you join Cerberus? Why did you join, Gabby? Kenneth and I have been partners in crime since we graduated from Tech Academy. Aw. When he got the Cerberus offer, I insisted that it include me. They'd fall apart without me. True. Thanks, Mum. Also, I love uh -huh. Indians, and the Normandy is state of the art. Thanks, Mom. When I got the opportunity to work on her. I had to jump. Hmm. I like these guys. What do you think about Cerberus? Yeah, I want to know what they think. Actually, we don't know much about the organization other than the Normandy team. We know our mission and who's in charge. We're off to kick the collectors right in their daddy bags. They're what? For me. Okay. Carry on. Will do, Commander. FBA couplings. Right in there. What? I'm amazed Shepard came down to see us. Oh, I like them. Oh my, the reactor core. What in the Chernobyl do we have here?
Eety. Elevator. Oh, sub deck stairwell. Kick him right in the bags. I would say the other word, but it's going to get clipped and sold on the internet for money, so. Wee! Cool. Wow, this is a really nice ship. It does seem a little bit too good to be true. Combat Information Center. The kick. CIC. All right. Ooh. Sarah Barrick, our new map. Let's see. The Normandy crap. Oh, they, they added what you need to do where. <gasps> and they labeled it. Oh my God. Oh my God. I couldn't ask for a better day. <sighs> the quality of life is just. Mwah. Recruit all these people in this cluster. You actually see the names of these things, bro. Shed a tear right now. They do care. Oh my god, and this is oh we're a little ship, look at us go. What? We Can we go directly into the sun? go to the citadel. Where's that? Whee! What is this? Unexplored. Unexplored. How do I... Mass relay? Fuel? Oh, buy fuel. Oh, no. Oh, no. Resource management? Oh no. Oh no! What? Huh? I just want to go to the Citadel. I want to see my friends. This is too much. We. I just want to go see familiar faces, get some groceries. And we can go get the thief. The Citadel. Supposedly constructed supposedly constructed by the long extinct Protheans, this colossal deep space station serves as the capital of the Citadel Council. Gravity is simulated through rotation and is a comfortable 1.02 standard G's on the wards and a light 0.3 standard G's on the Presidium ring. I don't know if this is the right order of doing anything. I I also don't care if you guys know anything about me. I just like doing things in whatever order I feel like. But I just, I feel, I feel like I want to be grounded with some familiar, familiarity. To first starters. See what's new in the Citadel. Oh, the cutscene, look at that. This is awesome. Mm, bloop. Bolster your weapon by pressing H. I mean, we don't really have a... I don't really have anybody. Uh... Launch a string of concussive Mass Effect shields in a narrow path, violently knocking targets aside. Assault mastery, charge... Yeah! Okay. No, oh, we unlocked pull. Cool. Four. Oh, he's got. Z oh. 
my squad points are the points for the whole squad. I mean, duh, but that's a, that's a change. That's a change. So you have to distribute them. That's crazy. Okay. Cool. Wow. Wow. We look so cool. Commander Shepard, enter the password and receive a free gift. Oh my god, our friends! They added the crabs! What? Please tell me your password, Commander Shepard. Silence is golden. Good to finally meet you, Commander Shepard. Kasumi Goto. I'm a fan. Has Cerberus filled you in on the mission? I wasn't expecting Honestly, to meet them. I'm shocked they didn't come to see me sooner. My fault for being hard to find, I guess. Yeah, that's like your whole thing. <laughs> that does beg the question, how good is like the CIA in this universe if they didn't even keep tabs on this thief person? What's with the password and the sneaking around? Are you in trouble or something? I'm the best thief in the business, not the most famous. Need to watch my step to keep it that way. I also needed to make sure all this was legit. And I have no doubts now. You're the real Commander Shepard. What brought you to Cerberus? That's a bit of a story. Short version, they were looking for me, so I trailed them to find out why. Turns out they were looking for someone to join you on an important mission, and were offering a serious signing bonus. I had a thing I needed help with, so I made them a deal. And here we are. I assume this deal is something I should know about. Yeah, I guess it slipped their minds. I'm looking for my old partner's gray box. A man named Donovan Hawk took it, and I'm planning to get it back. If that's what Cerberus promised you, we'll get it done. It'll be fun. And if we're lucky, you won't even have to draw your gun. We should probably wrap this up. You look pretty silly standing there talking to an advertisement. See you on the ship, Shepard. She's cool. I like her. I like her. She seems really cool. Oh, our boys are back. Hello, human. We worship the eternal god. And then our succulent crabs. That we don't need a scan anymore, I guess. This recruits is a 20 kilo ferrous slug. Feel the weight. Every five seconds, the main gun of an Empress class dreadnought accelerates one to 1.3% of light speed. Math. It impacts with the force of a 38 kiloton bomb. That is three times the yield of the city buster dropped on Hiroshima back on Earth. Oh. That means Sir Isaac Newton is the deadliest son of a bitch in space. My now, God. Serviceman Burnside, what is Newton's first law? Sir, an object in motion stays in motion, sir. No credit for partial answers, maggot. Sir, unless acted on by an outside force, sir. Damn straight. <laughs> two of you ignorant jackasses know that space is empty. Once you fire this hunk of metal, it keeps going till it hits something. True. That can be a ship. Or the planet behind that ship. I love this guy. Go off into deep space and hit somebody else in ten thousand years. <laughs> if you pull the trigger on this, you are ruining someone's day somewhere and some. <laughs> I love this guy. That is why you check your damn targets? That is why you wait for the computer to give you a damn firing solution. That is why, serviceman Chung, we do not eyeball it. <laughs> this is a weapon of mass destruction. You are not a cowboy shooting from the hip, sir. Yes, sir. Oh my god, that is amazing! That is amazing! That is my favorite piece of dialogue in this game so far. One and two. That is my favorite. That was so good. Okay, so a lot of times in the military, you've probably seen this in like TV shows, movies, you know, referenced throughout pop culture of like, more, a lot of the time we're made to do stuff we don't really want to do and we don't know why we're doing it. Man, stuff is mundane and stupid. We don't understand why. That right there is a beautiful example of someone giving an answer of like, we eyeball it, and then it's like, no, that's, 
we don't eyeball it drop and give me a hundred and just like giving them punishment rather than doing that he explained it to the to the gnat's ass as to why it's important it's like no we don't eyeball it because due to the physics and due to the way shit works and due to space and all the things this is why we have to be precise calibrated and um, purposeful with our shots and in our training such that we don't ruin someone's day who did was not like the intended target that was beautifully executed I loved that that was awesome that was awesome Wow I'm sorry sir but I'll need you to remove any biotic amp you might be wearing what why unfortunately sir biotics can be used as a weapon the rules require me to confiscate all customs could you please hand over yours I don't have one I'm not a biotic oh well when you objected I thought you humans are all racist what dude they're wilding with this dialogue dude Mass Effect 2 writers went hard can I help you ma'am it's been a couple of years since I passed through here security seems to have tightened a bit after the Geth attack, there was a review of security Okay, protocol. TSA. A few minor changes were made to reduce the risk of Geth infiltration. We apologize for the inconvenience. You'd think a Geth would stand out. Assumptions are dangerous. Be alert, be safe. I mean, yeah, TSA, they, they, uh, they added it, because, like, that shit's... Hoo-wee, that's crazy. I was about to say, there were no customs back in my day in Mass Effect 1. We would just get off the Normandy, slinging our guns, and, uh... Walking straight down to the bar, and now there's customs. What in tarnation? Thanks for your time. <laughs> Next. All right, all right, all right. I've had enough. I got to get out of here. This is so good. I'm already in love with the Citadel. God. Oh, did I just say that? Does that look like Garrus? Obviously, security has tightened since you were last here. Is that Garrus? Shut it down. Oh. What? Do you seriously think? Yeah. Okay. Sorry for the inconvenience, ma'am. Our scanners are picking up false readings. They seem to think you're dead. Okay, Sergeant Heron is not Garrus. Garrus has a different hairdo? Question mark? I did this last game with Liara and the other Asari chick. I swear not all Turians are the same. But. Hold on. I'm, I'm, I'm doing my math on this. I'm doing my. Doing my homework. Hold on. Okay, his face tattoos are slightly different, and his eyes are different. My bad. Hold on. This is, uh, this guy. And then Garrus is this guy. Same uniform, obviously. They're both C-Sec, so that's confusing. Same general structure of... Uh, their face structure is different. It's the, the face paint and then the eyes. Why are their voices like the same though? You know what? I'm not gonna, you know what? They're, you know what? This is annoying. Whatever. I was listed as missing in action a couple years ago. Would you mind checking in with my captain? He can reinstate you in our system. He's just past the scanners on your right. Voice line. No good. We were always told that Ilium is one of the safest places in the galaxy. Does that not sound like the guy we were just talking to? Am I being gaslit right now, or am I just really bad at recognition? Oh. 
They're not the same. They're not You'll the same. You have to make him scream a little. He's not going to tell you everything just because you ask. I, I know, sir. If you don't have the stomach or you're worried about being reported, I can take care of it. No, sir. I can handle it. Yes. You're I the... see the problem already, Commander Shepard. My you're the bozo you're I have to go through? And I like it that way. You're not worried I'm some imposter claiming to be me? We have the best screening equipment in the galaxy. Those scanners can sample DNA from skin flakes. Hell, if you have unregistered gene mods, they can even figure those out. Should I remain dead? Ooh, is this like a major decision or is this just like a minuscule thing? Hmm. Do I want to announce that I am back? I want to give people hope. Fuck Your it. Sergeant said you could help with that. Usually you'd have to go through the station security administration to reactivate your IDs, then to customs and immigration to regain access to the Citadel itself, and probably a stop by the Treasury. Spending a year dead is a popular tax dodge. But I can see you're a busy woman. Who do you so think I am? But I just press this button right here, and we call it done. Do it. That'd be great. Done. You're good to go. He's got a nice jawline. You should head up to the Presidium, though. The Council would probably like to know that one of their lost specters is still kicking. His, uh... He's got maybe some work done on his lips, though. They're not really moving a lot. They're a little, uh... I don't want to say boat. They're, like, fillered. He's got nice... Nice lips. They just, uh... Don't really move a lot. He's a homie, though. He got us in. What's the easiest way to get to the Presidium from down here? Head back through the security checkpoint and take a public shuttle. Security checkpoint, public shuttle. Screw the council. They didn't make much effort to confirm my death. I'll make about as much effort to tell them I'm alive. Fair enough. But if you have any friends in the Presidium Tower, they might want to know you're all right. I like this guy. I heard you and Counselor Anderson used to be pretty tight. Anyway, something else you need? Or can I get back to work? I'm gonna ask you questions. Looks like most of the damage from Sovereign's attack has been repaired. The Presidium was pretty shot up. Of course, they fixed that first. All the wards got hit with debris when the ship exploded. Most of the damage was superficial, and the keepers got things restored fast. Tasery ward got the worst. A How does the keepers thing the work? Concert hall. They're still clearing wreckage and trying to get power restored. Keepers like built by the. Like wasn't that like a whole thing? I need to talk to the council. How can oh wait. We get the presidium from here. Head through Where the security about that? checkpoint and take a public shuttle. Tell me about this place. All the wards are more or less multicultural, but the other four are dominated by Asari, Turians, or Solarians. In Zakira, we've got major enclaves of Volus, Elcor, and Hanar. There's also a human commercial zone at Shin Akiba. Interesting. We've got a few Krogan walking around, and I think I saw a quarry in the other day. Hmm. I overheard your conversation. Make him scream a little? This isn't a Presidium. All they have to worry about are protesters outside their free speech zones or someone's poodle crapping on the grass. Down here, we have drugs, organized crime, and murder. Policing a ward is like policing New York City. Huh. Sometimes you have to work outside the council's rulebook. Last time I was here, there were no human captains in CSEC. The no, CSEC took a lot of casualties when the Geth boarded the Presidium. The Special Response Division was hard hit. They stopped turning their noses up at human resumes. They needed bodies in uniform, and we had the most experienced bodies. Nice. Okay. I should be going. You need anything else? Let me know. I like that guy. Gave us a lot of good info. Oh, wow! <gasps> More labels? That's crazy. 
Captain Bailey, Cafe, Souvenirs, Expeditions, Calm Terminal, Rapid Transit, Warehouse. Wow. Cool. Oh, she's still here. Welcome back, Shepard. It has been two years, three months, and 17 days since the Citadel last welcomed you. Okay, Animal Crossing this villager. This is the Ward Transportation Hub. Public shuttles and shopping are available through the CSEC security cordon. The Alliance Embassy has issued a travel advisory for human visitors to the Citadel. Would you like to hear it now? Uh, yeah. Let me hear the travel What's advisory. What's going on? Due to recent adjustments to the Council, humans may find aliens on the Citadel less friendly than usual. Alliance citizens are advised to limit their time in non-human sectors. Group travel is strongly recommended. Oh, dang. If you feel you are being followed or threatened, talk to any nearby CSEC officer or contact the embassy through the station network. That makes it sound like there are anti-human race rights. Yeah. There have been 26 incidents of large-scale civil disorder aboard the Citadel in the past two years. Okay. Many non-human residents disagree with the Alliance-led restructuring of the Council and wish a return to the status quo. Interesting. There seem to be a lot more CSEC officers than the last time I was here. In the wake of the Geth attack two years ago, Additional security precautions were implemented for the safety and security of residents. In addition to increased CSEC patrols, weapon carry restrictions have been tightened. Hmm. Did it work? So has crime decreased? Violent crime has decreased by 23%. Property crime has decreased by 41%. Incident clearance has improved by 16%. Sounds like it's working. It looks like this place has recovered from sovereign Kinda. attack. Kinda. Repair of the damage from the Geth attack is ongoing. There is still extensive damage on Tasery Ward. Geth? It was Sovereign who led the attack. A Reaper. I have no information on a Reaper. References to the term exist in some parahistorical theories on galactic extinction sites. Wow, they wiped the suppressed information yep. about the Reapers. Far easier to blame the Geth, a known enemy. That makes sense. That's interesting. So these are the repercussions we're facing after our decisions in ME1. So by making the decision to kill all 10,000 of the different races and everything on board, um, and, and, and stating a human council or head of council, Interesting. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. Interesting. Very cool. Welcome to Citadel News Den. I'm Emily Wong. Officials in the Systems Alliance remain tight lipped about the recent disaster on the pioneer colony of Freedom's Progress. The human outpost is believed to have been destroyed, with no survivors on record. Details are sketchy due to a news blackout. It's sketchy. This is the latest in a series of frontier settlements lost by the Alliance. The Hanar Shrine of the Enkindlers plans a prayer vigil for the deceased. The Hanar maintain that the lost colonies are the Protheans' wrath after human explorers defiled a Prothean data beacon two years ago on Eden Prime. Interesting. Is that what happened? Souvenirs, huh? Good day, my friends. Welcome to the Citadel. Classism? Wants an endor- what? I'd like to buy something. My apologies. I do not make- To make a purchase, browse our electronic catalog- Okay. Thanks for your time. Of course, citizen. Space hamster! Yes! So it crashed, but I want to let you guys know that I bought everything. Surprise! We have a hamster, a fish, and two toys. So do you want to get one of the fish, or maybe a model ship? How is a model ship supposed to remind me of the Citadel? It's festive, and you like ships. I'm an engineer, honey. I look at ships all day. Wow. Our first purchases in Mass Effect 2 are uh, the entire gift shop. Anyway.
Anyways. Very important, by the way. Space hamster purchased. Oh my god, I can't wait. That's so I fun. This is the best place for food on Zakara Ward. You heard wrong. This is the best place for food on the whole damn citadel. Oh. What do you, uh, have? Ooh. Novels? Quality cuisine items used to prepare diplomatic dinners aboard starships. Some sushi? Human author Drew Carfishin. The popular military historic novel... Historical novel Ascension focuses on several lives warped or destroyed by the human survivalist cult Cerberus. Oh! Might be good. Revelation is a popular military historical novel by human writer Drew Carfishin. Dramatizes human conflicts and political expansion following the 2148 discovery of the Prothean mass relay on Pluto and the beginning of human galactic exploration. Wow. Wow. Uh, we're really using our... Uh... Oh, to the cook. Oh, yeah. Look at us. I love the lighting in this building. This is very pretty. Amazing. Wow. Rapid transit. Okay. Request new squad member. Main entrance. Dark Star Lounge. Oh my god. The lounge? Look at the jungle! Have you tried Galaxy of Fantasy yet? I love that game. It's based on Turian mythology, but it's really fun. I hear it has 11 billion players. Now. Video games? Do you have any games you'd like to trade in? You get two credits toward a new game. GameStop? You know what's good? Alliance Corsair. The battles are pretty realistic, but it's still fun. And you can install it on an Omni tool. Huh. Much like you can install Stardew Valley on your Tesla? I have no idea where we are, but I wanted to go to the lounge. Yeah. It's same, but different. What will it be? Hear about anything interesting going on around here? I serve drinks. If you want to know what's going on, check the news. I don't know why humans always ask me that. Okay. I'm done for now. Let me know if you change your mind. Yeah, that was not a... Uh... Nice. <laughs> oh, damn. Dance? Damn, she's getting it. Oh, my. Okay. Let's go, ladies. That's the men's room. I don't know. Maybe it's unisex. Oh, Brandy. Yes. For Dr. Chakwas. They made some upgrades to the club. I do not like that there's no more sexy strippers on the uh, tables, though. People want to hear your story, Shepard. Oh, the reporter chick's back. Been seen in Al Jalani, Western the last time we talked to a reporter, I told them to fuck off. 
I interviewed you two years ago when you first became a Spectre. Oh, I remember. You your case very well on camera. Yeah. Do you have a minute? Yeah, you made me look bad. What, so you can try to do another smear job on me? <laughs> now, Shepard, you may object to my methods, but we're on the same side. Your bad, your news. I just want to give your story its due. Her face is literally the face I just made. Sources claim you were at the heart of the Presidium during the Battle of the Citadel. It's fair to say the course of the battle hinged on your words. If true, you told Admiral Hackett to abandon the Destiny Ascension, sacrificing nearly... I've had enough of your disingenuous assertions. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I wish I'd done that the first time we met. You bitch! I'll make sure everyone in the Alliance sees that. Check vid. Did we get it? Nice. <laughs> uh, okay, it was yelling at me. Bro, it was yelling at me. It was like click, 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 click. So I clicked it. That was my first experience with one of those quick times. I didn't realize it was gonna punch her in the head. Oh my God. Oopsies. You talk shit, you get hit. Okay. Cool. Let's go to the main. Oh, the human embassy. Wait, this is where um Captain Anderson would be maybe? Ah. <gasps> Shepard. Welcome back to the ranks of the living. I wasn't sure you got my message. It's been a long time, Captain. It's counselor now. I had to give up my commission when I joined the council. Yeah. I'm glad you came. Separation Though of I was hoping the rest of the council would be here for military and government and whatnot. Unfortunately, they rarely listen to me. Sometimes I wonder if Udina would have been the better choice for this. Hmm, they don't really listen to his opinion. See, that's not something that I really took into account because I was like, okay, he's the counselor. He's gotta be respected. They have to listen to his opinion. They have to like whatever, but I guess they don't have to do anything, so Udina would have been the better choice at navigating, like, the political side of things, because he's a diplomat, right? But Anderson is well-respected, and... Hmm, that's annoying. The ambassador knows how to play politics. Exactly. Just tell him what you need and let him figure out how to push it through. Unfortunately, that usually involves pissing off the rest of the council. They veto my suggestions and nothing changes. What? I just don't have the knack for compromising my principles. A bad trait for a counselor. Ah, oh, that's so frustrating. Nobody said this was gonna be easy. Nobody but said I mean, it was easy. Right but I doubt Udina would echo it. He thinks I need to work on my people skills. I'm still not clear on why you wanted me to come. There's been a lot of talk since you came back. Some of what I hear has been, frankly, a little disturbing. Oh? I wanted to give you a chance to explain your actions. Maybe get the council to see things from your point of view. But they refused to see you. You let the previous council die during Sovereign's attack on the Citadel. They feel you'll always put human interests before galactic concerns. Rumors that you're working with Cerberus haven't helped. What are you doing out there? Oh my god! This is so annoying! I mean, I know, obviously. Well, 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 if it isn't the consequences of my own actions. I'm just annoyed that the last council was a pain in my ass. I kill him off. Whatever. Not out of pettiness. Not because I was like, wow, I hate the council. They deserve to die. I killed them off because it was a decision of galactic proportions. I was like, we need the Normandy to kill the Reaper. That's all it was. That's all it was. So we killed the council. And now the new council is another pain in my ass. You're telling me we got rid of those bitches just to get new bitches? What do we need to do? Kill this one off too? Cerberus seems to be the only group who cares about our missing colonists. I feel for those colonists, Shepard. But they went out to the Terminus systems to get away from the Alliance. We can't protect them. But you can. 
Or at least you're trying to, and I get the sense there's more going on here. The Collectors are abducting our colonists. This isn't about the systems, Cerberus at all. I think they're working for the Reapers. The Collectors? We hadn't considered that. Yeah, because you guys hadn't gone to the outposts. There's so little data. They've always seemed like a fringe threat. You didn't even actually if try to investigate. The Reapers, this is big. But even that may not be enough to get the Council off its tail. Of course. The others have spent the past two years convincing themselves the Reapers don't exist. You can convince yourself anything in two years. I tried to get years. the truth out, but they don't want to see it. Nope. It's just easier for them to accept Sovereign as a Geth warship. If you're too far removed from the situation that occurred and you don't, like, actively try to fix it, you can easily convince yourself that something, like, didn't really happen. You can gaslight yourself into it. Like the moon landing. Did we really land on the moon? I don't know. It was so long ago. It was all staged. Are they blind? What about Vigil, the Prothean VI on Ilos? The VI on Ilos shut itself down. You're the only one who spoke to it. Just like you and your crew are the only ones who spoke directly to Sovereign. Oh, okay. Officially, the existence of the Reapers has been dismissed as a myth spread by Saren to convince the Geth to die. <sighs> we both Fuck. know the truth. But I've spent two years fighting that line. And I don't have much to show for it. He looks like he's aged. Is that just me? You're saying it's hopeless? Hopefully this is bait for him to be like, no, there might be a chance. It's not like you to give up, Anderson. I haven't given up. But I have to be realistic. Even as a counselor, there's only so much I can do. It's mm -hmm. up to you to stop the Reaper Shepherd. All I've got is a title if you want it. I can reinstate your Spectre status. I won't win any popularity contests. But they can't really object. Your title was never officially rescinded when you died. Besides, you're still a hero to humanity. And the Council knows the danger of discounting our opinion. Thank you. Maybe that'll get us somewhere. Probably not. I'll take whatever asset I can get, old friend. Yeah, maybe it'll help with something. something. You, it's as good as the first time. Not quite the same level of ceremony. And more symbolic than useful, but it still has weight in some quarters. The rest is up to you. Exactly. I'll keep the Council and the Alliance off your back. Shouldn't be too hard if you're operating out in the Terminus system. It's better to have it than not have it. Anderson, we need to talk about... Shepard. What are you doing here? Mm-hmm, yeah, I noticed that change in tone, mister. Surprised? Not used to seeing ghosts, Sudina? I'd heard you were alive, of course, but I didn't expect to see you back on the Where'd you think I was gonna go? I hope you didn't do anything foolish, Counselor. Like try to arrange a meeting with the Council. There could be serious political ramifications. I don't answer to you, Udina. Why don't you go to your office and think about that for yeah, a Yeah, Urchin. Of course, Counselor. Good day to both of you. God. Sorry about that. Ugh. Udina's never gotten over the fact that I got the council position instead of him. Sometimes I need to put him in his place. Yeah, you do. Oh, his face. Ew, the textures. Why don't you fire him? What do you keep him around for? He's got his uses. And if you want something done on the city, mm, the connections. He knows who can make it happen. That's valuable. Plus, he's always happy to attend all those formal diplomatic functions I can't be bothered with. How've the last couple years treated you? Sounds like not great, to be Serving honest. Serving on the council isn't how I plan to spend my twilight years. Sometimes it feels like I'm just beating my head against a wall. Knowing the truth about Sovereign is brutal. It's nightmare stuff. And no one will listen to you. I can't blame others for not wanting to believe Exactly. It, but I know how important it is. So I keep trying. Fighting the good fight, right? Ugh, you could come with me. Forget Udina and the council. Join my crew and help me stop He's like, no, I'm not going back to I'm that. I'm too old to go racing across the galaxy. Yeah. Much as I complain, I've got an important job to do here. The front line. That's got to be yours. Hmm. How long did it take to get this place back up to speed after the battle? Still counting. The main areas of commerce and the most populated wards are complete. But estimates for total restoration are sitting around five years. The keepers always surprise us, though. It's like our repairs are annoying. 
We'll put up an ugly new bulkhead, and in a few days, they've made it seamless. <sighs> we never really thought of them as heavy lifters, and I have no idea where they get the resources. But we'd never get done without them. Keepers. Huh, it is pretty sus. So, like, this pro-human terrorist organization recruited and invested countless funds to bring me back to life. The council didn't give a shit at all. And they don't really want me alive. This is a very interesting position to be in. I don't know how to feel about it. I'm surprised no one can tell Sovereign isn't Geth technology. Didn't they examine the wreckage? Maybe there were nothing left. Maybe they self-destructed. No, Pieces have been rained all over the station. It was chaos. With who knows how many species combing the wards for their dead. We secured as much of it as we could. But between the keepers and a whole lot of unauthorized salvage, there's no way to account for even half of that thing. Half Another is huge. Why they don't want to acknowledge what Sovereign was. Half of it is huge. I mean, you said not even half, but like, it sounds like there's still a lot of pieces. I meant self-destruct is like, what if there was sensitive data on board or something and it just like, kaputted itself after it got into the water or whatever. It like, cause I mean, it's advanced technology. You'd think they'd have, I don't know. Last I knew we were still fighting holdouts. Well, here and there. But they are increasingly disorganized. It's long since stopped being called a war. More like cleanup. Not that you can ever discount them. But we haven't had serious casualties for months. A civilian ship will spot an enclave and we send in a squad to clear it. They're not quite the boogeymen they used to be. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Better go. Of course, Shepard, I understand. I wish I could do more to help you. But if you ever want to talk, I'll be here. Just... Do me a favor and be careful. You can't trust Cerberus. I don't trust them. I really don't. Something I can do for I you, Shepard? My door is always open. Uh. Something I can do for you, Shepard? Ashley! Oops, forgotten. As always. What happened to Gunnery Chief Williams after the Normandy was destroyed? Operations Chief Williams is still with the Alliance, but she's working on a special mission. It's classified. I can't say any more. Not while you're working with Cerberus, I'm sorry. Ah. Huh. Okay. Go. My door is always open. Well, she's alive. Still working with the Alliance. Classified mission. Hmm. Interesting. This clanless is- I'm sorry, I'm trying to take a statement here. There's nothing to talk about. She stole my credit shit. Arrest her. I did not! Just because I'm a Quarian! I need you to stop and take a deep breath. You can't breathe with You're that mask, bro! Me, Earth Clan. Just because the Vault Clan need- It was a poor choice of words, sir. Yep. I apologize. <laughs> take a deep breath. You say you're falsely accused? I was walking to the used ship dealer when he barged into me outside the Serta Foundation. He didn't stop or say he was sorry. A minute later, he runs up with CSEC and accuses me of stealing his damned shit. You ran into each other outside the Serta Foundation. Is it possible the shit fell out of his pocket there? I guess. Sure, all I know is I didn't take it. Do you spend a lot of time at the used ship dealer? Yeah. Got a lot of nice models. I'd like to buy one and take it back. Oh, to her little feet, hands. But... A decent sized ship, even used, costs hundreds of thousands of credits. I know. It's crazy, right? But I still like to daydream when I look at the hollows. And I could do amazing things to the engines. I'd make them sing like birds. Aw. Do you know who's telling the truth? My Omni tool can tell the quarry and doesn't have a chit on her. She could have stashed it to recover later. You know what Quarins are like. <laughs> She's definitely a vagrant. What? I'll run her in and see what Bailey wants to do with her. Why does everyone hate humans? Oh, wait. You say she stole your credit shit? She must have. When I left the Serta Foundation store, she ran right into me. She ran, she just ran into you. Running into you means she stole your credit shit. That's how pickpockets work. They bump into you and use that as a cover for rifling your pockets. 
You can't turn your back on these clanless quarians. Thieves. All of them. Are you sure you didn't leave your chit at the Serta Foundation? Of course not. You think I'd make a mistake like that? Watch me go over there and it's I gonna be over there. Buy anything there. That shit stayed in my pocket. Watch me go to the store and it's just gonna be over I'll there. See if I can find out what happened. Ma'am, we'll do all we bah. all we can to resolve this. Bah. We don't need civilian help. If you do happen to find the chip, civilian, please let one of our officers. I know. am Space Commander. Let's go. Shepard. Be careful out there. It's gonna be either at the store or outside because it fell out of her pocket. I was told to pick up a new Omni jail converter here. I don't think you have the right place. No, they said to go to the warehouse. This is the warehouse. This guy's voice is very deep. Wouldn't a refreshing, delicious Tupari sports drink hit Energy drink? Right now? Tupari, now available with Dextro Amino acids. Aminos. You could really go for a Tupari sports drink, couldn't you? Is it like a monster? Tupari. Now made with 10% real Tupo berry juice. They got me. I can continue my energy drink addiction in the video game? Crazy. Alright, where's this chit at? Tupari. Oh, there's like nothing in here. I like that outfit. It's like mine, but with purple sleeves. Okay. That was that was a warehouse. That's what it was. Foundation. Oh, upgrade your capacity. I have a hundred forty-one thousand. It's thirty thousand life support webbing. Wearable framework, the sort of engine developed an innovative net of micro stimulants and medigel in order to increase the chances. Oh, health by 10%. 8,000? Sure. Metagel capacity? Sure. We can use this. I only have a hundred or so thousand left, but both of those sounded very important. Good day, citizen. Welcome to the Serta Foundation outlet on Zakara Ward. Good day. Avolus was in here not too long ago. Did he drop a credit chip? And not that I saw. He didn't purchase anything. If everything's done by catalog, why are you here? <laughs> Customer service. Returns, exchanges, and group rates. We also find that sales are better when there's someone to personally interact with. Although I'm not sure why a human company exclusively hires Asari to work their stores. Hmm. What is this foundation? Tell me about your store. The Serta Foundation is a human organization known for its genetic therapy regimens and genetically engineered products. Serta is probably best known for the development ah. of energy. Okay. Thanks for your time. Good talk. Of course, citizen. What do you think, Michael? Maybe the immuno booster? It's supposed to help with alien bacteria. We can get whatever you'd like for little Jake, Rebecca. Wait, the immuno booster can delay muscle development in high gravity environments. What if that hurts him? Is this a vaccine conversation? Wow. Mass Effect 2, they did they did not give a shit. Hello. Serona's applications. Squad bonus plus 10% tech power damage. Oh, 90,000 shield upgrade. And the visor uses an efficiency algorithm to balance processing power for biotic games. And tool. Reduces the recharge time of your powers by 5%. That's really cool. I think I want to buy this shield upgrade. I only have 100,000 total, though. Hmm... Hmm. Hmm. So maybe we shouldn't just like buy everything because money does not rain in this game. And there's fuel and resource management. Maybe I'll just like hold off there. 100,000 is safe. I'll just hold on to that. I'll wait. 
And then, yeah, the gene therapy. This, these people are from the first game. There are occasional motor control side effects. Jake loves to run. What if it makes him fall down? Jake is fine, Rebecca. He's a perfectly healthy toddler. He's a toddler now. Yeah, 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 because she was, um... She was pregnant, and it was like her parents had the mutation or something. With confusion, I thought you knew. What? No. All I heard Verana say was, pick up a module. I love those guys. Oh wait, I didn't talk to him. I walked all the way over here to say hi to this guy, and then I didn't. Hello. Welcome to Sarenus Applications. Can I interest you? Ah, Shepard. Do I know you? No, but I know you. Even a senile Hanar would remember the human who fought off the Geth. I thought you were dead. Oh. Yeah, I've been getting that a lot. Please, look around the store. It's a pleasure to have you here. A Volus was in here not too long ago. Did he drop a credit chip? Oh, yes. He bought some environmental system drivers, then left without his chip. Wow. I he left until he was already gone. Wow. Him, tell him I have it here behind the counter. Wow. And then he goes accusing a quarry, and of course, you should give me a discount. Oh. Interesting. I'd like to buy something. Oh, it's all automated these days. Okay. Thanks for your time. will be there when you need us. Okay, so I can get a discount at these stores, but I'm going to hold off because I'm not going to buy anything right now anyways. Irashimas, hello. You ever had ramen? It's a delicacy back on Earth. I do like ramen. Ramen noodles. Ramen noodles. I felt her hand go into my pocket. When I checked, my credit chit was gone. I didn't even touch you. I found Please it. Move along. You forgot your credit shit at Saranus Applications. The clerk's holding it for you. Oh. Well. The Quarian could have stolen it. I'll close this event report, but I'll be watching you. Get a permanent residence, or I'll run you in for vagrancy. I was trying to use my... No, I was slow! I was too busy facepalming. I wish I could give you something more than words. You can give me a smooch? <laughs> hell was that CSEC guy's problem? He had no evidence that you did anything wrong. I don't know. Everyone's been like that since I got here. I like her voice actor. It's very uh, personable. Because Tally is very uh, automated. And she was just like, I don't know. Everyone's been like that since I got here. Damn it, I didn't get to Paragon. I wonder what that was going to be. Heck. My hand to gonna get you. mouse distance was like a foot. It was too far. Yeah, look at these guys. Greetings, Earth Clan. You will find many excellent ships for sale here. Only slightly used, yes. Can I? With our Unification Day special, you can get up to two thousand credits. Two thousand credits back on a. Such a deal. Five hundred thousand credit vessel. Crazy. Dang, man, they keep me on my toes. I want walls like this in my house. That's cool. Oh, so pretty. What's up here? Is it Dark Star? Oh! Back at the cafe. Okay, it's all interconnected. I saw the stairwell. When I was up here, but I was like, eh, I'll just take the rapid transit because I don't know where anything is. Okay, that's nice to know. Everything's like manually accessible. On foot. Nice. Uh, okay. We. I've done everything? Question mark? 
Journal. Crash site, Rosalie. We got that. Oh, the couplings. Oh, Omega, that's right. Because so we got the brandy and the special ingredients. Stealing memory. Killed her partner, Keiji Okuda. Okay, so... Beckenstein. Boltzmann Serpent Nebula. So we have to do this for her in order for her to work for us. Um, collectors. Assemble a team. We're doing that now. The veteran. Okay. So we got the thief. Maybe we need to go... I want to get this person next. I want the to have a scientist on board. Ari at Afterlife for more information. Ari at Afterlife. Where is that? Ari at Afterlife. That doesn't sound like it's here. I don't see anything called Afterlife. Maybe I need to go back to the Normandy? I don't know. She's so sexy. Me. Okay. Oh, I love this song. Aria. Ooh, Boltzmann is he here. Not have enough fuel to travel any significant distance. What? Huh? Okay. Pause. We're already out of fuel. We went to one place. Huh? Also, do I have to manually turn in these quests, or did it just, like, get sent to them? Oh, okay, I do have to do it. Alright. Manually. Medical. And then we'll go to the engineering bay to talk to the thing one, thing two. Da -da 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 -da. I got you your brandy! How may I help you, Commander? I've got your I have goods. A for you, Doc. Sarah's ice brandy. You didn't. <laughs> Thank you. Aww. I've always regretted not opening that original bottle when I still could. I won't make the same mistake again. Why don't we open this bottle right here, right now, you and me? Yeah. You crack open the bottle. I'll get the glasses. I'm alive. Every day is a good day. I thought Olenko's biotic display might have broken Jenkins' back, but Jenkins pops up and yells, That was awesome! Oh my god! <sighs> oh, Jenkins. Soldiers like him make the Alliance great. Cerberus lacks the same enthusiasm. My gosh, I love seeing her full of life. With your service record, you could have gotten a tour of duty on any Alliance ship. Why'd you really leave? Maybe it's less about leaving and more about staying. As a military doctor, I mostly treat people who are in bad shape. Often they die. And if I can help them, they move on. By the way, they leave. No. Don't you have any friends or family? No, not lacking friendship. Just stability. That is the way Jeff. the military goes. Joker will always have Rolic syndrome. Jeff. He would never admit it, but he needs my help, and he always will. I wish he weren't, but sadly, it's true. To the ornery bastard who flies this ship. The best fighter jockey to ever take to the sky. We love Joker. That's our boy. Oh! Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Is she taking a nap? Oh yeah, she's laying down. Out of all the people we could have uh, toasted to, I thought that would con we could keep talking. <laughs> oh, it faded. 
That was so fun. It was nice seeing her relaxed. In games like these that are very high stress and there's a lot of... Oh, God. I love when games just, like, add bits of happiness like that. I will just say for The Last of Us, I don't want to, like, spoil anything for anybody, but, like, it's a very stressful game. And then there are little pockets of joy you find in it. And just as, uh, it makes... It makes them all the more sweet when a game is depresso espresso. You really cherish those nice moments. You know? You know? What can we do for you, Commander? I brought you your... Oh, wait, no, I didn't. Carry on. Well do, Commander. Just kidding, I played you. That's an Omega, we haven't been there yet, but I did bring the chef's... Ingredients. So we're going exactly to where we were already. Hee <laughs> hee, I'm just in a silly, goofy mood. Back here. Commander, those provisions you provided were perfect. I owe you. Is this Presley's voice? Together some of my calamari gumbo. Here, try a bite. Ooh, I love gumbo. Calamari too. Don't mind if I do. Truth told, it's based on an Asari recipe. Seems a little cannibalistic to me with their tentacle heads. No, all, but they ain't no good grub. Anyway, thanks again. You really came through. What? <laughs> Mass Effect 2 is wild. Wild, dude. Seems a little cannibalistic for their little squid heads and all, but you know, they know what they're doing. That's crazy, dude. That's crazy. Udina's voice. Udina's voice. The writers are wilding with this one. All right, we've dropped off all the things we picked up while we ran errands at the Citadel. So, let's go back to the CIC. And, I guess, get gas. This will be our first experience getting gas in the game, which will be interesting. Let's see how expensive this is. Probes. We have 104,000. Okay, we're at max capacity now. It went down like about a thousand. That wasn't too bad. Okay. Oh my god. Oh wait, this is using fuel just moving. Oh my god, that's insane. Okay. That's crazy. So when I just did a lap around the track, Earlier, I was just burning fuel. Oh my god, this is crazy. Okay. I wanted to get the guy, though. Should I just do this Kasumi quest? I wanted to get the scientist. Fuck. 700 already. Jesus. Can I zoom out? Okay, um, Beckenstein, the recipient of the first wave of Earth's colonization efforts, Beckenstein's founders had a decidedly less agrarian plan than Eden Prime. The primary mission of Beckenstein's first colony was to become Earth's off-planet manufacturing base, ingratiating humanity into galactic culture by producing needed goods. Meeting with mixed success for the first generation, Beckenstein then leapfrogged his competition by producing high-quality luxury goods that went straight to nearby markets via the Citadel. Today, Beckenstein is known as the Human's Ilium, a place where new money tycoons flaunt their wealth and they have and the have-nots are rarely spoken of. So it's bougie. Scanner? Whoa! Scanner results depleted.
How do I rotate the planet? It's not... I have 15 probes, but there's like nothing here. It's not giving me any... Beep, 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 beep. Oh, there we go. Now it's rotating. Okay, 7,000 iridium here. Maybe I just have to drop it anywhere. Launching probe. In research projects, iridium is used to upgrade heavy weapons, submachine guns, and assault rifles. Uh... Probe away. In research projects, platinum is used to upgrade sniper rifles, shotguns, and medical equipment. I'll launch one more? I mean, there's a bunch of stuff. Away. In research projects, palladium is used to upgrade heavy pistols, armor, and cybernetics. Cerberus assault armor. Okay. Cool. Sure. We did it. I don't know what we did, but we did it. Yay. <laughs> I don't know, man. I just work here. Hawk won't be able to keep his eyes off you. Huh? I assume Allison Gunn is my cover. I'm looking. We run a small but Auga. band of mercs out in the Terminus systems. Precisely the type of person Hawk respects. I took the liberty of giving you a reputation. Papers, witnesses, article in Badass Weekly. Hubba Just hubba. Don't start talking business with him, and you'll be fine. That's what the outfit. Take it I'm wearing this getup for a reason. You'd look really out of place at a society party in armor. Don't you think? Yeah, they did say this planet's you bougie. Great. You should wear this stuff more often. Auga? Remind me, what kind of man are we dealing with? Hawk's a weapon stealer and smuggler. Bad news? He killed my partner and stole his dream. My kind of guy. Other than that, he's not so bad. Just kidding. Rich, charismatic, willing to crack open a man's skull to get at the neural implants inside. Oh! So what's the now plan? Now probably a good time to fill me in on the details. You have been waiting patiently. Our friend Hawk is throwing a party for his close. Oh, this is so friends. cool. A couple dozen of the worst liars, cheaters, and mass murderers you'll ever want to meet. All bringing gifts as a tribute to the man himself. This is like a cyberpunk mission. Our tribute is a lovely statue of your old friend Saren, rendered with loving detail and filled to the brim with our weapons and armor. You can keep your pistol as long as it's concealed. They won't hassle you over a sidearm. Once inside, we'll make our way to Hawk's vault door, somewhere in the back of the ballroom. Then, we case the security and start peeling away the layers. The statue should be there, waiting for you to crack it open and arm up. Okay, what in the Trojan horse is going then on we here? Waltz into the vault and take back KG's gray box. And I'll finally get a chance to say goodbye. You've worked really hard on this. KG must have meant a lot to you. Was I that obvious? KG's gray box holds a lot of priceless personal memories. It's all that remains of who he was. But the secret he discovered is dangerous. I wouldn't bring you here if it wasn't. Mm, her partner. This ought to be interesting. That's what I'm going for. Hmm. Oh my! Stop. Mommy! Uh, ooga! Bark, bark. After you, Ms. Gunn. 
Hold a moment, ma'am. There seems to be an issue with the statue. Is there a problem, yeah? No, Mr. Hawk. Just doing a scan. I don't believe we've met. Donovan Hawk. Allison Gunn. A pleasure. Sir, the scanners aren't picking anything up. Hmm. I don't think our guests would come all the way here from Ilium just to cause trouble. Do you? You may pass through, Ms. Gunn. You were invited after all. What is his accent? Your companion to remain outside. You understand, I hope. It's like combined. So we have a pro- Oh. God. His accent is very unique. Hmm, but I don't want to start problems, but why can't she come in? If it makes you feel more secure, she can wait outside. Good to see we're not going to have a problem. Okay, yeah, good choose. Enjoy good choice. The party. Well, that didn't go as I expected. Don't worry about it. I can handle it from here. That's good. Because you'll have to do all the talking. I'll stay out of sight and stick with you the best I can. She is like an invisible thief person, so. We'll keep radio contact in case something goes wrong. Yes! We need to find the door and case the security. We'll figure out the next step then. This is so cool. Why am I running through these holes? That situation on the hull? Oh, that? A quick application of force, a little pressure, and bam, done. Thank goodness. I thought those rabble would dog you for years. This is so cool. What are these nut sacks? Wow. That goes to a security room. We'll probably Some say Commander Shepard is still alive. Really? Oh, please. It's wishful thinking at best. Uh, I should move. How do you not recognize Commander Shepard? How are you so entrenched in your rich life that you literally don't know who I am by face? Not to be like self-absorbed, but to do business on Omega. Though I hear some mercs are coming together to deal with it. Oh. Like, not, not to be self-absorbed, but, like, aren't I one of the most famous people in the entire, uh... ...universe? Private Reams. No way we can sneak out of that party. The place is locked down tight, and Security Chief Rose in charge. No way Ro would let that get past her. I'd rather stand around bored on guard duty than risk her wrath. Sorry. Wow, it's so pretty. Look at that distant view. I hear Mr. Hawk's vault is exquisite. Who could know? He never lets anyone near it. It's like a Russian accent? Yeah, Mr. Hawk's birds was like a sort of Russian-ish, Irish-ish. Oh. Wow, who's his art? Or a very large one, at least. I don't know. I'm bad at pinpointing accents. I called Molly British or something in Red Dead, and people got so mad because she's actually Irish. I don't remember. Or vice versa. Needless to say, I'm not um, real great at that. Hawk's private rooms are off limits without proper clearance. I'm dying to get in there, but we have to scope out the vault first. But I got a booty! I told you. Private quarters are off limits. Don't get ahead of yourself. Let's case the vault. But I'm cute. Wow, modern art. He's gone. We need to case the vault, gun. You can chat up Hawk later. Okay. 
This music's really pretty too. So I just go downstairs into that like basement thing. I presume. You're gonna need credentials to go back there, ma'am. Uh, have you seen that ass? This ass is... Plenty cleared. If you know what I'm saying. Very nice. There's more here than I expected. Garrus! Password protected voice lock, kinetic barrier, DNA scanner, looks like an EX700 series. Everything a vault needs to be impenetrable. This gonna be a problem? Please, remember who you're talking to. Yes! We'll need to get a voice sample for the voice lock. You'll have to go chat up Hawk for oh. that. Oh! We'll have to find a password too. DNA, child's play. We should find plenty of DNA samples in Hawk's private quarters. And the barrier? Cut the power. Never fails. DNA samples? KG could get through a system like this in his sleep. And I'm better. Let's get to it. Damn. Ew, I have to talk to him and collect his juices? I mean, DNA? There she goes. Hawk throws a hell of a party. Yes. I'm not too pleased with the caliber of people he's invited, though. He says that sitting alone on a bench, completely isolated from the rest of the party. Sky throws a hell of a party, huh? Ladies. Literally just sitting there. Doing nothing. Eh. Okay. Alright. Conversation, then juices. Hello, Donovan. There he is. All you need to do is keep him talking long enough for me to get a voice print. Pull out the charm on this one, Shep. Whenever you're ready. I'm... Can I have some tequila? I'm ready now. Where's that brandy when we need it? After you. Ms. Gunn, good to see you. Is that enough? <laughs> that scene at the door hasn't soured your evening, I hope. Hasn't soured your evening, I hope. Do I want to go... But he's kind of a dick. He might like it if I'm aggressive. Expecting trouble? I understand the security, but who would dare try to break into Donovan Hawk's home? Gun, in our line of work, we attract a certain element. Few understand the pains we take to keep the barbarians at bay. How awful. People these days want comfort, entertainment, love. They don't see that the galaxy is fragile. How they terrible. They worry about simple luxuries. Why? Because people like me and you are doing the terrible things that keep the galaxy spinning. This party is for us. The cleaners. The support structure for the galaxy's gleeful delusions of peace. The janitors. There will always be a market for the things we do. Wow. I said get him talking, and you got him talking. Was that it? We've got enough of a voice sample. Let him go. All we needed was him to go on a little monologue? The party, Miss Gunn. Once we find the password, we can get past the voice scatter. The password? Where is it? In his little diary? In his little, uh, secret diary in his room? I'm sorry, officer. Mr. Hawk's private rooms are off limits to guests without security clearance. I'm a specter. I have clearance to go in. On whose authority? I have authorization from Chief Rowe. Okay, one second. Chief Rowe, Samuels. Have you given access authorization to Mr. Hawk's private rooms? I see. I don't know who you think you are, but Rose says she's never heard of you. Nice try, though. Enjoy the party. Heck. Rooms. We need to get in there. The Where's Rowe? Do I need to seduce her next? Can I ask for his permission? Hey, he's gun. baby boy. He's gun. He's gun. He's gun. He's gun. Uh. He's gun. Uh. He's gun. Hey. He's gun. Yo. He's gun. Hey. He's gun. Yeah. He's gun. Get it. He's gun. Uh. He's gun. <laughs> okay. Anyways, where is this? Let me 
unlock that security room door for you. There we go. Uh Okay. I'll just walk in. Ready when you are. Oh no. Oh god, I should have saved. Okay. Oh. I'm sweating. What the? You can't be back here. Take it down. Oh, we're shooting people now? That escalated. I have an idea. See what you can find. Nance, I have that problem too. So many passwords around here, can't keep them straight. The password for tonight is Perugia, so it's not even that easy to remember. It's no big deal. That voice scanner means the password's only useful to Hawk anyway. After this party, want to grab some beers? Let me know. Wow, that was easy. Got something? The password is Perugia. Huh. That's the name of the man who stole the Mona Lisa. Nice. Mm. I tapped their communications. I think we can get past that private room guard. Tell him Chief Rose sent you. I already tried that. I just take the voice sample we got from Hawk and got it. Now we can crack that voice scatter. AI voices. Perugia. Ooh, money for gas. If you first, at first you don't succeed, try, try again. You know what they say. It's, uh, it's, that's what they say. Hey, buddy boy. Mr. Hawk's private rooms are off limits to guests without security. Oh, good thing clearance. he has a short-term memory loss. Look, I already called in. Oh, once. never mind. This is getting old fast. Call again. Let's try it again. Fine. Chief Ro, Samuel's again. These guests are back in. They have access, Samuels. They'll stop bothering me. Got it. Sorry to bother you, ma'am. Okay, you're clear to go in. Wow, well, that's so easy. Wee! More sacks! Oh god, is private quarters? This is a long way to go. Imagine you bring like a Tinder date home. It's like, let me show you somewhere nice. And then you gotta walk like 500 miles. And then you gotta walk 500 more. Just to be a man who'd walk 500 miles and wound up at his bedroom door. Like, that's a long way to walk. Okay, where there's more. Look for anything we can get usable DNA from. Just make it quick and quiet. Couch cushion? Ew! Not a great saliva sample, but it's still useful. We're going to need more than this for the scanner, though. Ha! Found a sample? No, a credit shit. Nice! Plus one credit? What'd I do? Find a penny in the cushion? Empty. Too bad. A cigarette butt would have been a good source. No hair, no skin flakes. The housekeepers must be thorough. This guy's a lizard. Definitely Zuck energy. It's clean. It's a plant. <laughs> Okuda decryption project update. Little progress to report. We have now completed dictionary attacks using words and phrases from 4,800 galactic languages. Research into the Okuda family has not produced any matches. It is unlikely that a random brute force approach will produce a result within our lifetimes. Given the nature of the gray box technology, it's possible that the decryption key may not be a password at all. It could be a memory, an emotion, even a smell. The permutations could be infinite. I suggest that we begin investigating alternate alternative methods for breaking through the security on the box. Oh! We can probably get Hawk's DNA off the data pad. He seems to have obsessed over this. But I'm not sure there's enough. Let's keep looking. Definitely not on the books. This man doesn't read. Holographic interface. Won't find a sample here. Hmm. No DNA, but... Looks like Hawk's been trying to crack KG's gray box. Hmm. Looks like he's missing something. He hasn't cracked the encryption yet. Antique weapons. The cleaners don't dare touch treasures like this. We can get some skin cells from the dust. You. That should do it. Let's get out of here. Ooh. Fuck. Fuck! Yeah.
Can go, mate. This is pretty neat, though. I'm not sure how I feel about sleeping in the middle of a bedroom. That's like serial killer energy. It's definitely a red flag. What if someone sneaks up behind you? I have to have my bed like against the wall. Like I would not put my bed in the middle of a room. Maybe if my room was the size of a house. I don't know, dog. Just put the bed over there. You know? Or like, build a wall here? I could not do that. It's like sleeping on an island. What if like something uh, creeps over you? I can't. I can't. No. I would need the bed like against the wall to see like... like maybe a partition here. Just put up an entire thing to make this a bedroom so you can look at the you i don't know i'm overthinking this i don't care about this guy enough but i'm just personally saying i don't know about you guys but that's a recipe for uh getting attacked by a ninja just saying and i would walk 500 i do like these people's outfits you know that they're like the elites because they're all wearing the exact same thing, but remixed. That's kind of how it is in today's society. A lot of people wear like the minimalist same colors. So like one person you look is wearing a beige t-shirt. The next person's wearing a beige t-shirt. The next person is wearing black shorts with white shoes. Like it's a very, everyone's wearing like the same thing. So it's the same thing here. Like that dress is the exact same as that dress is the exact same as that suit and that suit and that suit. That dress is a slightly different model of that dress. Now I'm like nitpicking this entire scenario. I'm just saying, you know, they're the elites because they all went to the same store to buy their multi-million dollar. Mis gun, mis gun, mis gun, mis gun. Do the guards seem more attentive? Probably be more attentive to me too if I was wearing that dress. <laughs> you. Hey, yo! I didn't know this man was the Rizzler. No wonder he's got two bitches. Password required. Illusion. Voice ID accepted. Welcome, Mr. Hawk. DNA identification affirmed. Welcome, Mr. Hawk. Turn off the power. Careful. The barrier's still up. We'll have to shut it down to get to the door. Uh... Careful. The barrier's still up. We'll have to shut it down to get to the door. Microphone? DNA? What is it being powered through? There's a tube going down and around. Ah. It looks like the barrier's power cable runs under the floor here. I'll set your Omni tool to scan for electromagnetic fields. Right. I look like a crazy person. Excuse me, pardon me, sorry. Scanning for electro magnetic pulses from my omni tool pardon me excuse me sorry one sec like imagine this crazy lady running around the entire thing in heels This is actually really badass, though. I love this that entire house. mission. This is so is cool. Down. We're in a secret outfit at a mansion party at like an art gallery thing. And this is actually really cool. I've been complaining about his architecture, but cams. this is awesome. So cool. 
This is like some Black Widow ass shit. There we go. Ladies time. Just doing hot girl shit, you know? Sure, I don't think we have options. Laser bolt? Sure. I think we're good, dude. I don't really have anything. We just started this game. Oh no, he's missing a leg! And a peen. So this is Hawk's vault. Very nice. This scanner will hone in on the gray box. It's not far. Damn. This is kind of crazy. This guy must have been pretty important if his stuff is stored with the Statue of Liberty. Creepy. Okay, Mind Flayer. Egyptian. I could still get money for something like this, even outside the Alliance. Asari go nuts for this sort of thing. And then Statue of David missing his peen and his leg. Michelangelo's David. Yeah. Just... Wow. Wow. Think we can get this out through the door? Yeah. <laughs> it was the last one. <gasps> oh, the proximity. I thought that was a countdown for like a second. I was actually really scared. I was like, oh my God, I'm not going to make it. Is that Rex? Hawk has good taste. I'll give him that. Some ancient tabloids? Doesn't look like much, but that might be one of the most valuable pieces here. Turian art is rare outside of Palavin. For good reason, I say. You know when you, uh, shave a pencil? You guys remember when we used to have to sharpen pencils back in the day? This looks like, uh, pencil shavings. Anyways. Ugh. Rachni queen. I guess everything's valuable to someone. Some more ancient tabloids. Creature. Can't examine it. What the? Wow. Imagine that thing coming at you in a dark alley. I didn't play any other games by this creator. What is it? Bioware? But what if this might be like a callback to one of their other games? Because this looks a little bit too fantasy like and specific. This is nice. Oddly relaxing. Yeah, it looks like it would be like from Warcraft or something. Um, but I just I haven't played any of their other games, so I have no idea. A model of the Kara. It's like a Turian Titanic, the way I hear it. Train Titanic. I don't want to find it yet. That's impressive. Not sure what it is, though. This looks like quarry script. Wow. This has got to be old. Yeah. When was the last time the quarians wrote on stone? Yeah. are following me. Yikes. The sack! Can I look at it? Please. Statue. I can't examine it. Damn it. How did Hawk get Lady Liberty's head? Damn you, Hawk. (gasps) 
Why can't I examine the sack? All right. Oh my God, there it is. She's gonna decode it now? I thought we were just gonna steal it. Don't bother Miss Goto. It's code locked. God damn it. I had a feeling that was you at the door. I knew if it was really you, you'd get through anyway. God damn it. You know me. I don't like to disappoint. I need what's in your grey box, Kasumi. You know I'm willing to kill you for it. I'll admit your skills are impressive. You got into my vault like I'd left it open. But you're still going to die, screaming. No! Oh! Have I got your attention? I was awake that time, bitch! <laughs> that shut him up. I broke your sack. Deal with that, buddy. Kill them. Oh, wait. Pause. The front. Pause! Grenade launcher. Granada! Loki! Blueprints. <laughs> There's a landing pad to the east. Let's get out of here. Joker, bring the shuttle in. Now! Let's go, baby! What? No! Anything else that I can steal? What is this? Can I destroy anything else? No? Okay. Just to be petty. Any other files? Nothing? Okay, 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 okay. Let's go, let's go. Whee! Come on, Jeff. Ah! Oh my god. The big game. Owie. I didn't know they had C3PO in this bitch. Wave. Incendiary. Ah! Whoa! Don't vault over that, you stinky. Ay, Dios mío, fuck. Can I heal? I'm so silly. Grenade launcher, that wouldn't be good in this, probably, right? I'll take his armor out. <laughs> okay. Shotgun time. Shut up. Damn it. We have to find another way. You are. I get a a BLT with a sweet tea on the side. Order a sweet potato fries. Sorry, it's lunchtime. I'm hungry. It looked like a menu. Okay. Eh. Matching code segments. Top left corner of the screen. Avoid red codes. Find all matches. Top left corner. Hovering over it? I found it! Purple. This guy. The 
this guy. What? Am I doing this right? Do I have to press enter? Wrong. Fuck, it was the one above it. I'm getting the hang of it. I'm getting the hang of it. I'm getting the hang of it. Okay. Okay. Green, white, purple. Oh my god. Whoo! Okay. 4 already 200 credits. That was good. Okay. We got her done. Here they are. Game time. Whoa! I don't think I should use a shotgun at this distance. It'll take heavier weapons than that to blow those tanks. What was that scream? What was that? Ah, you this fucking guy. Dude! That was so scuffed. That was so scuffed. Let's do that again. Let's do that again, shall we? That was so much fun. Unity. Unity. Cloaking. Cloaking. Oh. Nice, Chica. Beep boop. Whoa! Jesus. These are full of fuel. Oh. It's easily enough to blast through the wall. Oh. Is that what we're supposed to do? Okay. It'll take heavier weapons than that to blow those tanks. Good thing I'm out of grenade launcher bullets, am I right, ladies? Weak against armor. Weak against armor. Hmm. Hmm. It'll take heavier weapons than that to blow. I don't have any. Those tanks. Grenade. Wait, does she? Can I change her weapon loadout? Eh. I do not know. Oh! Ho, ho, ho! Found it! Platinum! That got it. Yay! Don't let them out of there with my property. Coincidentally, there was just a tank hanging out. That's nice. Love that for me. Look at that. 
Good placement. Bada bing bada boom. Oh my god! Take cover. to an enemy with incredible force. Ah, I see now. It's all there. It's all it's all there written in the in the words. It's, it's all it's all right there. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. We're going to not do that this time. Do not charge the mech. We're not doing that. Oh my god. Cover! Cover! Ah! Resume. Okay. We're cool. We're cool. We're chill. I'm a cool guy. I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. Pull the cucumber. <sighs> Calm. Don't Collect it. Get in there get away from my property. Shut up, Donovan. Alright, we're gonna try the left. We're gonna do a little left maneuver. So anyway, that started blasting. Okay. Gonna little do a little lefty Lucy. Dude, this guy. Owie. Eh, it's fine. Maybe I'll do this. Remounted. Hmm. 
course there's explosive crates everywhere. That would be just wildly inconvenient, you know? If I could have just... This should come in handy. Shot all of those and, you know, killed them all, but... You know, that'd be easy. That'd be too easy. Oh, we get to fight him 1v1? Look right. Owie. The double. Can I charge that guy? spare parts I just saw. There they are. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And there's salvage wolves in here. This is way cooler than Mass Effect 1. Not to just like completely shit on Mass Effect 1, but it's not awkward. All of the all of the bunkers in Mass Effect 1 had like no music. It was just silent. And then the music would turn on every like 10 minutes for like a minute or two and then it would just go silent again. It was so awkward. This is way more badass and involved. I mean, Mass Effect 1 did a great job for 2007. I'm not I'm not complaining. I'm just saying this is uh, definitely an upgrade. I can see why people enjoy this. I get it. I get it. Oh. At least there's music, like, come on. Oh no, I'm out of coffee. Oh, got a gunship. Allow me to show you the hard way. He gets a plane? Up ahead. And I have to shoot it with my gun? I should have held on to my freaking grenade launcher. This is highly unfair. Are there any explosive boxes this time or no? This music is badass. I need like a man portable air defense system. I can't just shoot this thing with bullets. This is ridiculous. I'm so severely overpowered right now. Right. Underpowered. Your oh my god, he just reshielded. Are you shitting me? Can't do that right now. What? Where'd he go? Vault over random stuff is goaded though. It's pretty cool. You know, rockets. Literally anything. You're doing this for love. Owie. If I can get to the ship, I can take down the shield. Okay. That's good. Where's the fuck? Where the fuck? Oh, of course it's over there. Jeebus. Going dark. Going ghost. Heavy weapons. 
Say less, baby girl. I got you. Ooh, 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 that big old bullet. Big old grenade. Duck dive, dip dodge. Ooh. Ooh. First try, first try, first try. Here we go. Come on, lady. Oh my god. Oh, she's Spider-Man. What? Down. Let's tear that thing apart. What? Hell yeah, dude, that was so badass. Die. Okay, or I'm gonna die. Cover. Careful, men. What's the key for rich face intake? Intake. Take out this ship with a pistol. We are down horrendous. Uh, something tells me this mission should have been done at a higher level, but that's fine. That's fine. We can take down a ship with a pistol, no biggie. Owie. Do what you like to this gun ship. I'll have a squadron of I have a squadron of them, but there's only one of you, stinky man. Where is he? Coming from the right. I saw a med kit. Going dark. Oh. Owie. <clears throat> Oh my god! We are not dying right now. We are not dying right now. I just need to heal up. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Come on, come on, come on. Jesus Christ. We good? We looted everything? I don't see anything in the near vicinity. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Whoo wee! Is he dead? Uh. Can we leave? Please? How do you get in this thing? Oh. Oh man, first try. First try. I deserve some Taco Bell after that one. Whew. The nod. Nice. Aw, her partner. Kasumi, if you're seeing this, it's because I'm dead. The information we found is all here. It's big, Kasumi. If the Council ever got wind of this, the Alliance could be implicated. Kasumi, I... I encrypted the information to keep it safe. And I uploaded the encryption key to your gray box, so no one could get the whole package. But if I'm dead, and if anyone knows about this, then I've made you a target, my love. I'm so 
so sorry. Keiji. I know you, Kasumi. You'll want to keep these memories forever. But you don't need some neural implant to know I'll always be with you. Please, Kasumi, destroy these files. There's nothing more I can do to protect you. I... I can't do that. This is all that's left. Goodbye, Kasumi. I love you. sad because I was so intimate. Is there any way we can just destroy the information? No. Keiji's a master at encrypting files. He lays the information into his memories. You can't get one without experiencing That's the so other. sad. That's all she has left of him. You heard him, Kasumi. He'd want you to destroy the information and save yourself. I know. I just... I can't. This is all that's left of him. I'll be the bad guy. I mean, I think that she should probably do it, but... If it's easier, I could do it for you. I... Okay. Just get it over with. Please. Just, like, imagine... Being in that position, man, the only person she could trust and she could love because she lives such like a radical lifestyle, you know, like she doesn't have a lot of people she keeps close and that was her partner. And that was her only memory she had left of him because he got That's killed. This. Hawk was killed. Power unlocked, concussive charge new outfit and we recruited her so at least we got revenge plus 10% tech power upgrade but you need a head scientist yeah that's next on the list oh that was an emotional ending but that was a really good that was a really good mission I'm really impressed with this game so far